Happy Monday, everyone. This evening, we bring you the NBA on 2K Sports. Two NBA greats, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our analysts tonight, with our reporter, Ali LaForce. I'm Brian Anderson. All right, let's take a look at some numbers for Josh Giddy. Effective field goal percentage is a great way to measure his performance over the previous 10 games. It's been much improved, a sign that his game has been evolving. A look at the opening lineup for the Oklahoma City Thunder. In at forward, it's Dorton Williams. Shea Gilgis Alexander is out there with Josh Giddy, and it's Holmgren in at the five. And for the Heat, Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. Martin at power forward with Adebayo as the center. And it's Lowry in at the point guard. Well, we got an old-fashioned matchup on our hands tonight, Grant. Two teams who deploy impactful big men. Yeah, B.A., and in a league where perimeter play so often is the deciding factor, tonight I expect this to be a slugfest inside. And so off the tip, it's Miami. Hero against Giddy. Hero right side to the paint. Here's Adebayo. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. This is how you win possessions. Bam Adebayo fighting through the foul. And talking about Bam Adebayo, he's a guy that loves mixing it up on defense. Really. Yes, B.A., and that is what turned himself into a defensive player of the year candidate. Bam's high activity is really contagious on this end. And Grant, when you scan the OKC roster, you see length at every position. Yeah, it's definitely their philosophy, B.A. We're seeing a number of franchises going that route. What I would say about the Thunder, though, many of their guys still have some strength to add. And that one's good. Giddy. And it's the Heat with the ball. Pass to Butler. Holmgren against Adebayo. Hero for three. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Not many bigs have Bam Adebayo's vision. Just another reason this coaching staff trusts him with the ball. Giddy against Hero. Fade away. Adebayo grabs the board. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. Kicks it to Hero. There's the triple. And again, Miami with a triple. Put Hero anywhere on the arc, and he'll shoot it. I mean, he is so confident. Gilgis Alexander against Lowry. Pass to Holmgren. Pulls it. Jump shot is good. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. It's Martin on the wing. Fires from deep. Oh, can't get it. Misses his first attempt. The Thunder have gone two of three from the floor. Here's Holmgren. Holmgren with a screen on Lowry. Back to Holmgren. Lays it up and banks it in. And you know, as a roller, Holmgren shows great hands, and he makes nice adjustments moving downhill. Butler surveying the floor. He drops it in from the low post. They have really found a rhythm here early. Four for five to start this game. With the floater. And that one's good. Giddy. Giddy's got his second basket. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Now here's Lowry. Checking his numbers. He's put up a little over nine points a game. Outside Butler. Five on the clock. Right at the free throw line. It doesn't go for him. Oklahoma City trailing. Pass to Williams. From the arc. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Giddy. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. 
Butler passes to Adebayo. Rejected by Holmgren. And you can't forget about Holmgren's reach, especially when he's nearby on defense. Back to Williams. Back to Gilgis Alexander. And that misses. That would have put him up. And so it's Butler who brings up the ball for Miami. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Hero's got eight points. I loved it by Tyler Hero. A good player who's only going to get better. Holmgren, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Williams has checked in for Holmgren. Now here's Hero. They really needed more from him in that loss to Phoenix. And here's Butler outside. And it's Kitty with a rebound. The Thunder have gotten five of seven shots to fall. Dort for three. Drills it from deep. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Miami has gone two for four from range to start things off. Lowry, the pass to Butler. Pass to Adebayo. Good, and Butler gets the assist. He's got five. Beasting inside. Adebayo can bully you. And he's also added some finesse. Williams, a screen on Lowry. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. All he needed was a little separation. So effective. Boy, cleared the path, put him in position for a prime time dunk. That's a big time move and a big time finish. Now here's Martin. He's scoreless. Here's Adebayo. Pass to Hero. Lowry with it. Adebayo. Great positioning on the putback. Adebayo. Here's Giddy. His last outing, we saw him score 13. And here is Williams. He's guarded by Martin. The three is up. And again, Oklahoma City with a triple. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Pass to Hero. Launches a three. Gets the three to fall. Hero's got 11. He's putting on a show this quarter, and the team's feeding off his energy. Gilgis Alexander attacking. They keep capturing the lead, then giving it back. We'll see if they can hold on to it this time. Both teams putting forth their best efforts right now. This is the kind of game fans pay to see. And the Heat making a change here. Robinson's checked in. Duncan Robinson. And it's the Thunder with the ball. Giddy with it. He's averaging more than 12 a game. A consistent threat on offense. Williams, a screen on Robinson. Giddy passes to Williams. Outside Giddy. Just four to shoot. Three-pointer. Rebound by the Heat. Their first chance this season playing the Thunder. And they swept the team last season, got the upper hand, and sustained the momentum. But hey, it's a different season, and anything can happen. And all quarter long, it's been the same story, inconsistent with this offense. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. He's guarded by Hero. Yep, that one goes. He's got six. Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work, and it's paying off. Robinson against Kitty. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. And taking a sec here to look at the leaderboard. Here are the top free throw shooting two guards over the last 10 games. Well, you look at Robinson, so consistent from the line, putting him in the three spot. This is a group with the ability to drive looking for contact because they all know they'll convert at the free throw line. Give them all credit for the work they put in to become such great free throw shooters. Trust me, it takes a lot of work to shoot those kinds of percentages. Richardson's checked in for Hero. 
Pass to Williams. And here's Giddy. Outside, Williams. The shot's good on the assist by Giddy. Three points. Giddy's got three assists now in this one. Outstanding long-range shooting here early. They already have hit multiple shots from downtown. And the bucket is good. Adebayo's got nine. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He can't get it to drop. Oh, great D that time from Adebayo. Gilgis Alexander with a steal. Miami grabs the miss. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Pass to Butler. Now Martin. Here's Adebayo. Giddy defends. Adebayo, no good. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Giddy passes to Gilgis Alexander, and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And now we're getting into the thick of the NBA season, Smitty. When you gaze around the league, what do you look for to say this team is for real? For me, B.A., to win a championship, your defense has to be in the top five. Also, it's hard to win it all your first time in the playoffs. Past experience is generally necessary to contend. That free throw misses. And grant the resiliency and determination of the Heat not to be underestimated. Well, B.A., last season became just the second eighth seed in NBA history to advance to the finals. And Jimmy Butler said it. We don't care if you pick us to win. We never have. We never will. And he sinks the second. Hey, you look at some of the young star power on OKC. Grant, they haven't had that since the Kevin Durant years. Oh, B.A., I mean, those KD teams were built through the draft. So no matter where they're picking, the Thunder seem to uncover gems. Now here's Adebayo. Nine points in the game. Count that one. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. Williams, a screen on Richardson. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Williams has got 11 points. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Here's Butler. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Wow, the strength of Jimmy Butler fends off defenders well when he goes up to score. Williams, a screen on Richardson. Richardson against Gilgis Alexander. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. You can see Shea Gilgis Alexander thinking out there in a good way. He really studies every situation. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Thunder. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that hot. Man, they're just having their way bullying the other team in the painted area, imposing their will down there whenever they want. Williams has checked in for Oklahoma City. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. Well, Grant, the pace that the Heat like to play is a little slower compared to other teams. Yeah, B.A., more methodical, definitely. They don't just jack up shots and run quick plays. They're very patient, and they look for the best scoring option. Tipped away. Hero, the pass to Robinson. Shot clock at six. Out of bio, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Here's Richardson. The shot won't fall. Some solid defense from Williams. Oklahoma City has gone four of six from deep to start this game. Gilgis Alexander against Adebayo. The baseline, Jay. And it comes off the front of the rim. It's amazing. All night, he's been out of sync on the offensive end. Yet, they continue to lead. The shot. Hero, no good. Thunder with a lead. Williams passes to Wallace. 
Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Williams with the screen. A nice shot by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got 11. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Hero outside. And a fast break now for the Thunder. Here's Joe. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. This is intelligent basketball. Forcing a turnover and then immediately starting the fast break. There's 42 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Outside Richardson. Adebayo sets a screen. From 13, gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Very good at working off the pick and roll. Josh getting all the separation he needs. Pass to Williams. From 13, Williams misses. It's a shot you would think he would make. He just doesn't make it all the time. Oklahoma City foul. Morris. First personal foul. Second team foul. Now at the line, Duncan Robinson. The first one falls. Whether he's playing the two or three, he's tough to guard. Duncan Robinson brings a ton of length to the floor. It's both from the strike. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Outside Gilgis Alexander. They set the pick. And he nails the jumper. Gilgis Alexander's got 13 now. Look at these numbers. There's a reason SGA is one of the best guards in the NBA right now. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. They've been very effective from the three-point line. That's the key for them so far. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. again for tuning in if you're just joining us we played through one quarter of action so far and what do you guys think about the thunder here in this one? Oh, what i love was that first quarter was all about leaking out and capitalizing in transition that's their mindset attack attack and attack some more you're not going to beat them playing soft Oklahoma City has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. On the floor for Oklahoma City, getting going in the second. We've got Kendrick Williams, and it's Gilgis Alexander in at the point. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Last game, he had 34 points. So, Grant, if you were a GM and you could choose one young player to build around, who would it be? Wow, that's a great question. I mean, B.A., I, I think you have to go with Victor Wimbanyama. I know he's a young fella. He just got drafted. But the upside is so huge for this young man. His talent, his skill, his size. He is the next iteration of Kevin Durant, in my opinion. And I would go with him. He's got a lot of runway in front of him. A lot of years to get better, get stronger, and to win championships. And he drops the first. Yeah, what's special about Gilgis Alexander is how shifty he is, which also makes it so tough on defenses. Williams has checked in for Oklahoma City. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. 
Smitty, when you look at the Heat bench, there's been one constant presence for years now. B.A., his name is Eric Spolstra. He's been pacing that sideline since 2008. That's a rarity these days. It speaks to the success Coach Spo has had there. And it's love missing. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, talking about his all-star wing, Coach Eric Spolster said, it's hard to describe Jimmy Butler until you actually feel him between the four lines. He is a supreme elite competitor, one of the ultimate competitors in his profession. His only focus is about driving a team to win. All other things are irrelevant. B.A.? Yeah, that's a great point. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Hero. Pass to Richardson. Quarter number two with just over a minute of play. Williams against Love. Down to five on the shot clock. The Heat need to get one up in a hurry. Here's Richardson. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Richardson's got this second bucket. The ball handling skills of Josh showing off his ability to create for himself. Williams with the screen. The kick out to Williams. Wallace, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Shakes him. SGA working through contact inside. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Robinson on the wing. Nails it from three. Robinson's got five points. You have to run Robinson off his shots or he will light you up. Outside, Williams. Pass to Wallace. Gilgis Alexander against Richardson. Williams is screen on Richardson. Here's Wallace. Love grabs the miss. Miami has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Hero outside. Screen by Robinson. Hero, the pass to Richardson. Love against Williams. Richardson for three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. They come into this one following a loss to Brooklyn. And they got to the line at a good clip, but couldn't cash in, and it ruined their chances. You know what happens. You start to miss a few. You develop a lack of confidence, and suddenly it becomes contagious. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williams. And you've got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with the floor. <laughs> Kyle Lowry's checked in for Richardson. And so Hero will bring it up for Miami. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Love's got himself on the board with a three there. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Outside, Williams. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. SGA showing off the athleticism there. Yeah, a defense has to be very aware of Gilgis Alexander's attack mindset. He wants to get to the rim and do maximum damage. Lowry surveys the D. Pass to Hawkins. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Now, here's Williams. Dort, left side. Joe, pass to Dort, fires the three. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Here's Hawkins. Ten points in his last outing. Pass to Hero. The deep three. And it's Kitty with a rebound. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but butter leg next time, maybe. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. 19 points in the game. Kept alive. 
and you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Love for three. Knocks down the long J. Love's got six here in the quarter. Defensively, you can't afford to let Kevin Love get his feet set and shoot it from out there. You want to force him off the line and make him put it on the floor. Williams against Love. Williams passes to Gilgis Alexander. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And Miami called for the foul. Shea Gilgis Alexander. Two. Makes a first. And they've capitalized well from the free throw line. Their percentage is impressive. And the Heat with some changes. Bam Adebayo comes in for Love. And Butler is subbed in for Robinson. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. Gilgis Alexander against Lowry. To the middle. Here's Adebayo. Soft touch off the glass. Adebayo's got 13 now. Some shooters get tunnel vision. But Tyler keeping his eyes up and his options open delivers a great pass. Oklahoma City calls timeout. You take a look at Miami, sitting in seventh place right now. They'd like to climb up the standings. I think for the Heat, I really think they've been hit and miss thus far. I mean, they are a playoff level team, but are they championship level? Probably not. This has been the thought all along. They have enough to compete night in and night out, but they're not taking four out of seven from a top team in this league. No way. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. Williams from long range. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. He's really finding his rhythm here. I mean, smart move to keep feeding him the ball. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. And a bio, no good. The Thunder have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Gilgis Alexander against Lowry. Taking it inside. SGA. All game long, he's been getting to his spots, and the defense has yet to adjust. Giddy against Hero. And it's Giddy with a rebound. Giddy's got four rebounds now. You know, for my money, Josh Giddy is one of the most entertaining players in the league, Grant. Yeah, he has superb vision in the open floor, B.A. Reads the angles and sees how plays develop with ease. His teammates have to be ready for a pass from Giddy at all times. That's nice work. Stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. Pass to Butler. Here's Adebayo. Williams defending. Shot to stop the run. Hero for three. Out of bio and out of bio slams it in. The confidence continuing to grow off the board. Out of bio takes it right back up. Giddy against Hero. Pass to Williams. Dort with it. Shot clock at five. Williams a screen on Hero. Here's Giddy. 
And there's another one for the Thunder. Miami's gone 50% from the perimeter in the second. Shooting four of eight. Here's Hero. And that one goes. He's shooting five of nine in this one. A focused individual. Hero's not going to let a little contact affect his shot. Williams in the post. Working on Adebayo. Williams passes to Giddy. Dort outside. There's the three. It's hauled in by the Heat. Hero's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Adebayo. Lowry outside. Adebayo sets a screen. Outside for Butler. Four on the clock. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got his fourth assist with that last one. And the Thunder call time here. Timeout call for the Thunder. We want to see you get loud. We've got t-shirts. Robinson, he's checked in for Miami. And the Thunder making a change here. Taking a look at defensive metrics, these are the guys who continue to block shots at a high rate. Chet Holmgren, fourth. And during this last month, he made a statement on the defensive end, just swatting away shots left and right. Dort against Butler. Dort, the pass to Giddy. Williams, a screen on Robinson. Left side, Williams. It's hauled in by the Heat. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Phoenix. It's simple. Your defense has to be razor sharp on the road. You really want to take the crowd out of the game. Easier said than done. Yes, the other team is feeding off that enthusiasm. You have to try and match that energy. Oh, got a piece of it. Robinson finds some space. The Thunder with the rebound. Giddy's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Williams. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. And it's Butler with the ball for the Miami Heat. Trailing by four. Inside, Hawkins. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Third-person foul. First team foul. Now at the line, Hawkins! And he knocks down the first one. And the Heat making a change here. Heroes checked in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Oklahoma City has gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. I just love the aggressive finish. I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. Pass to Hero. Over Giddy. Hero, no good. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. Outside, Giddy. Stolen by Hero. Hero. 144 left in the second period. Adebayo passes to Butler. Adebayo a screen on Wiggins. Back to Adebayo. And finished off by Adebayo. Jimmy Butler is becoming a nightmare of a matchup. Off the pick and roll. Now he's using the pass to free up other guys. And here's Gilgis Alexander. 25 points in the game. And the shot goes. Gilgis Alexander's got 27. Once he saw the smaller defender guarding him, he took it right to the rack. Pass to Adebayo. 
Adebayo a screen on Giddy. Hero for three. Sinks the trade. Hero's got 16 points. Another triple for him. His fourth of the night after that monster first quarter where he hit three of them. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Hero, no good. Oklahoma City's gone six for 12 from deep so far in this game. And that one, good. Dort. Give him eight. The nice use of strength by Dort. He runs into the inside contact but pushes right through it. To the inside. And finished off by Adebayo. He may give up a little size, but has the bounce to hold his own. Thunder with a lead. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. Gilgis Alexander against Lowry. Dort outside. Pass to Giddy. Six on the shot clock. Inside. Cuts off the pass. Lowry outside. Here's Adebayo. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got six assists in the game. You can't shake Bam Adebayo when he's focused, even if the defense is playing physical. Bam Adebayo has been leading the charge for Miami. He's been effective on offense, racking up 21 points so far in this contest. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Coach, it's been a hard-fought game, a lot of hustle plays. What gets you over the hump in the second half? Well, we just have to keep on grinding. That's what this kind of game is like. Uh, you know, in many ways, it feels like a playoff game. But those plays right there, ball in the air, ball on the floor, we gotta, we got to make sure we're dominating those areas uh, and then make some plays. We'd love to see playoff intensity there in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Okay, Allie, appreciate it. And, folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. Welcome, everybody. Right off the bat, let's see which games are still to come tonight. Over at Spectrum Center, the Hornets will face off against the Bulls. That one tips off at 7 p.m. Eastern. And on paper, these two are pretty close in terms of talent. Yeah, that's going to come down to effort. And who controls that pace? Let's go back now to Bam Adebayo's first half performance. He was doing it all out there. Well, I think the bucket looks real big to him right now. He's uh, been almost automatic. And you look at the people trying to defend him, they look discouraged. Very discouraged. His shooting percentage is definitely on the Shaq-like level right now. All right, you're being nice to me. What do you want? Uh, a ride home on the plane. Deal. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. You know, Shea Gilgis Alexander has been exceptional here, guys. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Martin at power forward with Adebayo as the center. Lowry and Hero are the guard set. And it's Butler in at the small forward position. That's the group for Eric Spolstra starting the second half. Josh. And, the and from the mid-range area, they've been the more effective team. Here's Hero. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Hero's got 18. A challenging shot, but there, Tyler Hero made it look effortless. Outside, Williams. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. Very pretty alley-oop. And the Thunder lead by one. Here in the second half, this game still nip and tuck. Just an insane amount of lead changes. The fans are getting their money's worth. And the shot's good. 
Lowry's got his first points of the night. He drops yet another dive, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Well, some guys tend to shrink in big moments. Tyler Hero, not one of those guys. He believes in himself, and this team believes in him. Whether it's a timely three, drive to the bucket, draw and dish, Tyler Hero makes winning plays. Here's Adebayo. After the basket by Oklahoma City. Adebayo is screened on Dort. Butler finds Martin. Now Adebayo. Shoots over Holmgren. And he can't bank that one in. And so it's Williams with it. He brings it up for Oklahoma City. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. It's off to Washington after this one, where they will face the Wizards. It'll be the fourth of five games for them on the road. And coming out of halftime, Coach said they wanted to start fast. How's four for four? Shea Gilgis Alexander, one. Free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Lowry, the pass to Butler. Adebayo with it. Lowry outside. Yes, and it's Adebayo picking up the assist. Lowry's got five points. This is what you get with Lowry, a confident shooter in these situations. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Martin picks him up, and he makes it. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. The Heat have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Adebayo. Adebayo is screen on Williams. Martin, pass to Adebayo. Back to Martin, and here's Hero. Just five to shoot. Adebayo sets a screen. And again, Miami with a triple. That's his signature move, Tyler Hero, using the screen to create just enough separation. Gilgis Alexander against Lowry from deep. Holmgren. Rebound by the Heat. Yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Lowry finds Butler. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. For Oklahoma City, they've got five of six shots to fall so far in the third. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Some solid defense from Butler. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. Martin outside. Back to Hero. From outside the arc. Williams grabs the board. Aggressive closeout on a great jump shooter. That's how you defend against the three. Lowry against Gilgis Alexander. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That'll belong to Kyle Lowry. There's that man, Gilgis Alexander. So tough to contend with his quickness. Shea Gilgis Alexander. Free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. And here are the Heat now. Two point game. Butler passes to Hero. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Butler's got his fourth assist in this one. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Looks smart when the shots are going down. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. 
Hey, Brian, the Thunder are making dramatic improvement. Shea Gilgis Alexander, now an all-star, says they're gaining confidence. He said, quote, we know we're getting better. I think guys are kind of getting addicted to that feeling and continuing to grow. Brian, they could be building something really special here. Yeah, you're right. They could. Skipping no steps either. Thanks, Allie. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Those are precisely the looks this team is trying to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 34. Beyond the arc. A big triple. Gilgis Alexander. Smooth shot from Shea at the arc, letting his mechanics do the hard work. Adebayo passes to Hero. Fires the three. Miami, no good that time either. Oklahoma City has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Gilgis Alexander finds Dort. And again, Oklahoma City with a triple. Dort has really improved this part of his game. Would love to see him shoot more often from out there. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Shea Gilgis Alexander. And his scoring numbers have been moving in the right direction these past few years. He's continued to get better at adjusting to what opposing defenses are throwing at him, and he's finding ways to get buckets by any means necessary. against Dort. Hero outside. Over Giddy. Miami, no good that time either. That's his shot. Close to the basket. Had the defense on his heels. Kicking himself right now. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Out of bio with the rejection. With a strong sense of timing and awareness, Bam sent that shot away. And there's the call. It's on Bam Adebayo. That's foul number two for him. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Robinson, he's checked in for Lowry. Duncan Robinson. Butler against Dort. Pass to Giddy. And yes, it's good. He's seven for eight now. No need to risk a shot from range when you can take it inside. Hero, the pass to Robinson. He buries it from three. Robinson's got eight. Consistent from three-point land. Duncan Robinson with incredible range. Gilgis Alexander passes to Dort. Here's Williams. To the paint. Here's Holmgren. The Thunder tack on two more. Yeah, Holmgren meets some resistance there inside, but he stays strong and gets right through it. Butler against Dort. Outside Butler. Down to five on the shot clock. And one. He'll have a chance in the three-point play. Blue Dort picks one up. You know what? This is a skill set to be able to take the bump and stay on balance after the initial contact. Dort. All right, guys. What do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Oklahoma City? For me, consistent penetration the entire game. And that's given them a lot of options. They've also been striking from mid-range with great consistency tonight. They just own that part of the floor in this one. As tough as they come, Jimmy Butler. What does he bring to this team, Smitty? B.A. Hart and the way he competes out there, it is infectious. Jimmy challenges his teammates to raise their level of effort. And coaches, they love Jimmy Butler. And Miami has possession. Following the bucket by the Thunder, Butler passes to Hero. Holmgren against Adebayo. Holmgren with the block. 
Yeah, just an excellent shot blocker. Holmgren is so good at using his length and timing to erase shot attempts. Williams against Martin. The 15-footer. Williams misses. Can't blame him. Just trying to take what the defense allows. Gilgis Alexander against Hero. Pass to Adebayo. Martin outside. And here's Hero from deep. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Holmgren's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with a screen on Hero. Williams in the post. He's guarded by Martin. Gilgis Alexander, a screen on Hero. The shot by Dort, no good. And here's Adebayo. He'll bring it up to the Miami Heat. They'll be playing host to Houston for their next game. It'll be game number two in their five-game homestand. Butler passes to Martin. Outside Robinson. Puts up a three. The Thunder pull it in. Pass to Giddy. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Williams up top. Williams a screen on Butler. Dort up top. Butler covering. Shoots from the right block. Miami grabs the miss. Adebayo's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. Butler against Dort to win the cold spell. A nice shot by Butler. Butler's got 12. Great idea from Jimmy. The mid-range is normally open in today's NBA. And the Thunder call time here. Get loud, fan. Both teams deciding to change it up. Let's take a look at the Western Conference standings now that the new year is upon us. You look at Oklahoma City. They're currently holding on to the third best record in the conference. I think for the Thunder, I think they're the team you dread having to play. I mean, they've been performing at just about their best in every game so far this season. We figured that by this point in the season, they would have separated themselves from the pack. They've done that and more. He's guarded by Hero. Pass to Wallace. Holmgren with a screen on Butler. Now Holmgren. Three-pointer. He drops it from range. Holmgren's got five points now in the quarter. Ah, uh, a superb three-point threat. When Holmgren is knocking down triples, he's hard to contain. Outside Butler. Butler double team. Let's it go from deep. Hakez, that's good. Give him eight. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Down low. Here's Wallace. Jimmy Butler with a rebound. Butler's got five rebounds in the game. Pass to Robinson. To the middle. Oh! Butler, what a dunk! Give him a lane, and Jimmy Butler will exploit it. Holmgren with it. Here's Joe. And it's off from three-point range. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Here's Hawkins. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. He looked just a little out of rhythm. He's still trying to establish consistency from there. Holmgren, the pass to Wallace. Williams on the wing. Oklahoma City's got to hurry. they got to get up a shot. And that one's good. Holmgren. And one of the fears about Holmgren was his lack of bulk. But he's a strong enough finisher to still power it through contact inside. Here's Butler. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's Wallace. Three-pointer, no good. 
What a performance for Shea Gilgis Alexander. He has been the story for Oklahoma City. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. We'll be right back. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. Taking a look at the Thunder. Chet Holmgren out there with Kendrick Williams. Then it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Joe in a shooting guard. Here's Jaquez. Here's Adebayo. He gets it in there. Adebayo's got 23 points. And we've seen a leak from Adebayo recently, scoring now at a steady clip. Williams with the screen. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Gilgis Alexander's got his sixth assist of the night. And it's out of bounds to the Heat as Miami retains possession. And here's what the schedule for the Oklahoma City Thunder looks like. On Monday, they're off to Washington to face off with the Wizards. Then on Wednesday, they'll be matching up with Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. When you look ahead, there are a lot of winnable games, but you really can't think that as a player. You have to take every opponent seriously because this is the NBA. No game is a freebie. And the Thunder making a change here. Williams is checked in, but it's out of bounds. Last touch by Holmgren. You want unselfishness, but you also need to keep it under control. Here's Adebayo. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the D. Adebayo's gotten four this quarter. Thunder with a lead. Pass to Holmgren. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's guarded by Lowry. Here's Wallace. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Screen by Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. It's so difficult to defend Holmgren inside. For such a young player, his body control and awareness are off the charts. Now here's Butler to the paint. And it's Butler with the jam. Impressive one-hand slam right there, PA. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Here's Wallace. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Down low. Here's Holmgren. And the big finish by Holmgren. And this is why so many are high on Holmgren. His ability to dominate games with his score. Lowry, the pass to Adebayo. Misses from close range. The Thunder have gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. Wallace misses. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Outside Butler. Counted. Now 8 for 13 with that basket. I love it. Got the basketball used to pick a high percentage shot for Jimmy Butler off pick and roll plays. Here's Wallace. Butler covering. Pass to Holmgren. Here's Wallace. Back to Holmgren. Three-pointer. And how about that? Eight for nine now. After a lackluster first half, he's taken charge offensively. We'll see how the defense responds. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. 
Adams checked in for Miami and keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Eric Spolster said to the team. And he was adamant that they need to tighten up their D. That lack of communication at that end has led to breakdowns, wide open shooters, and easy buckets. He sounded pretty frustrated, guys. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. With a lethal mix of strength and length, Bam out of bio can wreak havoc down low. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Wiggins passes to Gilgis Alexander. Williams with the screen. And Gilgis Alexander missing. And it's Lowry with the ball for Miami. Outside Robinson. To the left wing. Lowry left side. And Miami again with the bucket. Sweet touch from the red range. This is Kyle Lowry's game right here. Great shot. Pass to Williams. Lowry against Gilgis Alexander. Williams, a screen on Lowry. Gilgis Alexander from outside. Oh, the Thunder, another three. Here we go, his second made from beyond the arc in the second half after having no such luck in the first. Adebayo, a screen on Wiggins. Hawkins, the pass to Adebayo. And Adebayo slams it in. A dangerous pick and roll partner. Adebayo's a high level athlete with great size. Pass to Wiggins. Now Williams. Adebayo grabs the board. Miami trailing. Here's Hawkins. Now Lowry. Adebayo passes to Hawkins. For three, Robinson. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Pass to Joe. Now here's Williams to the inside. Williams. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Third person foul. First team foul. Shooting for Oklahoma City. Williams. Two. Free throw drops for Williams. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. For the Thunder, Holmgren, he's checked in for Williams. Dort comes in for Wiggins. And it's Josh Giddy in for Joe. And Williams drops them both. Miami. They've gotten seven of nine from the floor in this fourth. Butler against Dort. Butler passes to Hero. No good on the triple. Uh, the clawing their way back in. That was a chance to even things up. Ever so close. Needed that one to go down. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. It's Giddy on the wing. The three. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Gilgis Alexander's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Butler against Dort. Butler passes to Hero. Five to shoot. Takes the 12-footer and hits it. Hero's got 10 points in just the second half. When Tyler Hero gets it going, as he has tonight, he can score in bunches. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. 
It may be a player's league, but the coaches obviously play a big part as well. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. And the Heat making a change here. Lowry's checked in. Now in the game, number seven, Kyle Lowry. Martin against Williams. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. The three. Williams misses. For Miami, they've gone 8 of 11 from the field in the fourth. Now here's Lowry. Outside Butler. Back to Lowry. Butler, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Lowry against Gilgis Alexander. Puts up a three. Martin with the bucket. And it's now only a one-point Thunder lead. The quick release has become league-wide. Caleb Martin can certainly let it fly. Giddy against Hero. Giddy passes to Holmgren. Lowry with a steal. Hero outside. Adebayo sets a screen. Hero finds Adebayo to take the lead. And Miami again with the bucket. Bam, Adebayo can stretch the defense out with some mid-range action. And Kitty has got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. This shot should on the assist by Kitty. Gilgis Alexander's got 44. Relentless in his approach. He has one thing on his mind. Close this game out. Hero, no good. Dort with it. Now guarded by Butler. Dort, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Three-pointer off the mark. Miami has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Outside Butler. Knocked away. Dort outside. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. From deep giddy. And that's basket number nine for him. He's nine for ten. Yeah, the guard instincts of Gilgis Alexander. I mean, fantastic work dishing the rock to uncover teammates. Lowry, the pass to Butler. Hero outside. Adebayo, a screen on Giddy. Hero for three. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Holmgren's got nine rebounds now. Giddy with it. Gilgis Alexander, a screen on Hero, inside, and slam shot by Gilgis Alexander. <laughs> I'll tell you, those finishes are always extra special when they come from your point guard. Oh, forget about his passing. Can we see more dunking? It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo! Woo! Man, that one drops for him. Adebayo's got 33. This team is so lucky to have an eager player like Bam, someone who wants to step up in the big moments. Now here's Holmgren. Up top, Giddy. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. This shot's good on the assist by Giddy. Giddy's got eight assists in the game. Coach likes that look. And Gilgis Alexander from the corner. Dort against Butler. Out to Lowry. Adebayo a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Tries a 10-footer. That's good on the jumper. Adebayo's got 35 in the game. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. From deep, Holmgren. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Oh, connects again. And that gives him 51. Making it look easy. Miami trailing. And here's Lowry. Pass to Butler. Over Dort. A shot by Butler. No good. Here are the Thunder with the ball. They're on a 12-4 run. And here's Holmgren. Dort with it. Butler covering. Dort, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren against Adebayo. Williams with it. Five on the clock. 
Let's go with a three. Oh, he gets it to go. Seven of 13 now. Nothing left to do but to watch the clock tick towards zero. Nice victory here for the Thunder. And at first glance, it appeared to be an easy win for them. However, they had to weather some storms along the way, Grant. Yeah, in terms of competitiveness, it was a lot closer than the final score indicates. And they played well tonight, picking up win number 24 of the year. And having this win on the books might give them a little mental advantage the next two times these squads meet. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Shea Gilgis-Alexander. He put on a clinic tonight. Terrific vision, sees the whole floor, and he hits guys in their spots with pinpoint dives. Miami, no good that time either. I think a bucket here, Grant, would end this game. Absolutely. That would put a bow on this one. And got it! Another basket! And he's been dominant so far in this one. Shouldering the offense. Really taking it to the opposition. Lowry outside. Knocks down the triple. Over the years, Kyle Lowry has become a volume three-point shooter. You see why with these results. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. Toward outside. Holmgren with a screen on Butler. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Second team foul. Shooting for Oklahoma City. Lugans, Dort, one. And that's a wrap. Those free throws being the nail in the coffin. Here's Richardson. From deep three-point range. And the miss. And so it's the Thunder taking care of business in this one. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Shay, you were using those long arms to be disruptive on the defensive end. What's your focus at that end of the floor? Um, I'm just trying to be as active as possible. Um, and like you said, uh, getting my length involved, something I've been blessed with, and I just want to use it. That activity, that length was noticed. Congratulations. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll do it, folks. For Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports coverage of the NBA. And now we present the New Balance player of the game, Shea Gilgis-Alexander.